Hi there, it's Adam from King Chrome, and I'm going to show you how to use the deflecting beam torque wrench. Before we start, the torque wrench is different to your other ratchets. It's not a tool to remove fasteners or a tool to be used like a breaker bar. The deflecting beam torque wrench looks like a complicated tool, but it's really easy to use, and it pays to understand the tool and what it's used for. This torque wrench operates in a single direction, and it works by applying torque to a deflecting beam rather than a coil spring which prolongs the life of the tool and ensures extreme accuracy. The tool has an indicator pin that is released and emits a click sound when the desired torque setting is achieved. Precision tightening is generally a manufacturer's requirement on the application and the fastener being used. I have the half inch square drive model to demonstrate. This will be perfect for lighter to heavy duty applications. There are some important safety points to consider when using torque wrenches. Always ensure that you keep proper footing and balance at all times and do not use the wrench in places where you may fall or slip and wearing gloves can really assist with grip. Let's get into it in these simple steps. Step 1. Before you start, always make sure that you use the correct size tool for the job. Each deflecting beam wrench has a torque range in both newton meters and foot pounds. Consult the manufacturer's guide for the torque requirement of your job. Step 2. Loosen the thumb screw on the sliding scale and set the correct torque number on the scale. In this example, I want to set the torque number at 90. I've moved the adjustable wedge until the number 90 is reached. Step three, tighten the thumb screw by turning clockwise and push in the indicator pin. The torque setting is now locked and it's time to attach the half inch square drive and the required socket. Step four, gripping the torque wrench is very important and the large groove on the handle is a center guide for your hand. Step five, slowly and evenly pull the handle till you hear the click and see the indicator pin release from the deflection beam. This indicates that the set torque has been achieved. Never apply more torque to the fastener after the click is heard. Over torque fasteners and sockets can suddenly break, causing injury. There are several important tips regarding torque wrenches. The tool should be recalibrated every 10,000 cycles or every 12 months by an NATA approved facility. Refer to nata.com.au for more information. If your torque wrench is dropped, knocked or any part replaced, the wrench needs to be tested to ensure the calibration is correct prior to the next use. Always store your torque wrench with the indicator pin pushed in. This will protect the pin from breaking or being damaged. Lastly, you shouldn't have to strain when tightening fasteners. If you are, you're using the wrong tool. Try a larger model. So there you have the deflecting beam torque wrench, a precision tool with classical styling. For more information, please see the King Chrome website.